Hello, ladies and gentlemen, on this 4th of July weekend, got a little bit of TV noise in the background, so please forgive me about that. House, house full of people. Anyway, um, I thought for the 4th of July, I would give you guys this SWF uh, that's going to be part of a package I have with some stuff, but um, the slick thing about this SWF is that it's what I call a zero-time or a free-running SWF because it's actually running in the background. So when I run this scene, as you can see, the fireworks are going while the other motion is happening. And the reason it's white in the background because I didn't put a video back there. Uh, but you see I moved the ambulance around. Hopefully this 4th of July weekend no one will need that ambulance. Hint, hint. But um, I just thought I would put it up there just to show that uh, I started off with this SWF and then I put everything on top of it. The SWF actually has zero time in the window, but it is running in the background. So if you look right up here, you see it says zero seconds because technically speaking, it's an SWF inside of an SWF. And since Explanio can only control the root SWF, if you put one inside of the other one, then the one that's it's contained within runs on its own that's why when you, you can stop characters running across the screen but the eyes still blink and and smile and everything else that's because there are those are inner swfs running or inner movie clips running within the the, the um, master movie clip <clears throat> swallow the barbecue sauce okay so uh what i want to do is just show you how to put one of these together and create a new scene at animation slide click on flash animation and then you will get uh, this fireworks file here it may be named differently but as you can see it pops up and the fireworks start to display immediately now to give it a little bit of context let's go out here to the scene background and I'm just gonna grab a standard background so that we can see this stuff happening well, I, Let's go with this one. I'm gonna go totally now. See what I'm saying? It's got a background. The fireworks are on top of it. All right. So now I'm gonna open up the canvas again, and let's just grab a sketch image. Well, probably not that one. This is kind of a crazy one. So you can use your mouse wheel to zoom out and fit these huge things in there that probably shouldn't be there anyway. Uh. <clears throat> Let me try again because that's just that's some junk I was just playing with. Okay, here's a nice chart. Things are going up. Okay, and then I'll just add a little bit of animation where I'll just move it over here and flip it. Okay, then I'll add a line of text and put the company name in there. Change this to be the standard fat font that I like. Okay. Now, <clears throat> close and run this scene. Fireworks are happening, as well as the drawing is happening. And it flips over, and then it draws the text and goes away. So you could have had other actions going on. But I do have um, some other graphics, some other heads-up displays, and everything else that run in the background or you can put two or three of these together and that action starts happening simultaneously to give you that illusion of uh, multiple effects and that was it people look for the zip file and play with this it's just an swf that you stick in the middle there uh, in between stuff let me see if i can uh, pull up another real quick i'm still trying to organize these um, and I think this coin is another one where there's gold in them fireworks. So let's, let's see if this works. Look at that. Gold coins. They're just doing their own thing. So they're at the end. And it says two seconds. See, I added uh, a little bit of point uh, two seconds. I added a little bit of time in there. Because I was experimenting with whether or not I wanted everything to happen just instantly. So the fireworks happen two tenths of a second, then the coins start happening. And uh, that's how this is set up. So let's look at it now. So, so you really couldn't even tell, could you? See, now you got fireworks and the coins going at the same time. Uh, yes, I do have a series of these. Yes, they will be coming out shortly. 
Hold on. I'm trying to get some videos made to show you guys how to use the new Explandio. And then I'll um, make all this other stuff happen for you. But I just wanted you to see that uh, Multimotion does exist. Have a happy 4th of July, everyone. And if it's after 4th of July, this is still a video with uh, SWFs. I call them my, my zero time or my... Um, Multi-motion uh, SWL. Don't have a real good name for them right now. Other than that, they play all together.